So we're given some design plan information and we're told to develop the parabolic equation that describes the curve at station 31 plus 50 and determine the high point station and elevation. So these are our design plans. And so we're looking for this curve shown here, the white box gives us the core information or some key information for the curve. It has a PI at station 31 plus 50. And this is really, a lot of times we'd refer to this as a VPI, so vertical point of intersection or a PVI, point of vertical intersection. Uh, it has an elevation at the PVI of 13, 16.4 feet. So that's a point up in space. It's not actually on the road. That's the, the elevation of that PVI. We're told it's a vertical curve of 1,090 feet. So that's the length of the vertical curve. And it has a rate of vertical curvature K of 190. Some of the other key things we can get from this, from the design drawing and that we know some of these basic relationships is that the high point of the curve occurs on the side of the PVI with the flatter grade. So we're gonna expect, and we can see it here in the, in the drawing that the high point is gonna come somewhere in this area of the curve. So when we're, it, I think a lot of times it helps to think about where do we expect that point to be. And to me, looking at the drawing, you know, I'm thinking somewhere in this area of the curve is gonna be the high point. And looking at the elevations over here, it looks like it's gonna be somewhere in the 1308 or 1309 feet in elevation is gonna be that high point. It's not gonna occur at the, the PVI. It's gonna occur on the right side of the PVI for this case uh, because it, the flatter grade is on the right side of the PVI. A couple of other uh, points of interest that we should be aware of or elements of interest, we've got the grades. So this is our G1 is positive 3.5035. And then our G2 is negative 2.2286. And then another important value is the length of curve. And we're giving it up here in this table 1,090, or in stations is what we're gonna actually need, it'll be 10.9 stations, where one station equals 100 feet. So here's some, some key information we should take away uh, from this drawing. We're gonna develop the parabolic equation, and we're gonna look for the elevation and station of the high point, which we've already kind of hypothesized is gonna happen somewhere between station 32 and 33 and roughly 1,308 or 1,309 feet in elevation. So here's our general parabolic equation, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We're gonna specify it for this particular curve. So a equals g2 minus g1 divided by two times the length. And so we're gonna put our values in here. So we're gonna have our G2 is negative 2.2286. We're putting the grades in percent and our lengths in station. So it's G2 minus G1, which is 3.5035. So that's on our numerator and the denominator here, we've got two times the length, that's 10.9 stations. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that division and we're gonna come up with an A of negative 0 0.26294. That's our component for A. For B, we have G1. So this is simply gonna be 3.5035. And then for our PVC elevation, we can use our equation, the PVI elevation, which was given minus G1 times L over two. And we'll come up with a value of 1297.306 for the elevation of our PVC. So this parabolic equation 
you're starting from the PVC elevation and then moving along the parameters A and B uh, throughout our parabola there. X represents that horizontal distance along the stationing axis. So our equation now is Y equals negative 0.26294 times X squared plus 3.5035 times X plus 1297.306. So that's our parabolic equation. Now we've created that parabolic equation. So to find the higher low point of a vertical curve, we can substitute our value of X into the parabolic equation to solve for Y. And ultimately that's gonna reduce and solve to X equals negative G1 times L over G2 minus G1. So let's, let's go ahead and solve this. So negative G1, so we have negative 3.5035 times our length, 10.9 stations. We're gonna divide this by G2 minus G1. So we have negative 2.2286 minus 3.5035. And we're gonna solve that. And we're gonna come up with an X value for this. And X is the distance from the PVC. So it's not a station yet, it's just the distance from the PVC, 6.662156. So we need to add that station Add those, those stations to the PVC. So we're adding 666.2157 feet or 6.66 stations to our PVC station. It's going to give us our station for our high point. And so we need to start with our station of our PVC, we were given our PVI station of 31 plus 50. We can subtract five plus 45, that's half of the length of the curve. Our curve, remember, is 10.9 stations or 1,090 feet. So to solve for, we're gonna start by solving for what is our PVC station and that is station 26 plus 05 to get our PVC. And then we're going to now add our X value to our PVC station. So PVC of 26 plus 05 plus our X value of six plus 66.2157 is going to give us a station of our high point of 32 plus 71.22. So that was one part of the question for the high point is the station. The next is our actual elevation of that high point. We can solve this based on the parabolic equation that we previously solved for. So our equation is y equals negative 0.26294 x squared plus 3.5035 times x plus 1297.306. This is y of our high point. And so this is going to be again negative point negative 0 0.26294 times 6.66, I'm gonna round that off there, but I would carry out those uh, decimals further, plus 3.5035 times 6.66, plus 1297.306, And this will give you, when you work this out, it's gonna give you a high point elevation of 
08.976 feet. So this now answers our, fully answers our question. We have our parabolic equation. We use that parabolic equation to find the high point elevation based on the location of that high point, which had an X of 6.66. And we also could find the station of that high point. So in total, we have a high point at station 32 plus 71.22 that occurs at an elevation of 1308.976 feet, which does line up with the values that we estimated just looking at our design plans. <clears throat> 